The sun dipped behind the towering spires of Coruscant, casting long shadows through the grand hallways of the Jedi Temple. Inside one of the meditation chambers, Obi-Wan Kenobi and his teenage apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, sat in tranquil silence. The air hummed with serenity, broken only by the distant hum of the city's speeders. Anakin, who had been restlessly contemplating a recent discovery, opened his eyes and turned to his master. Master, Anakin began, his voice low. I was reading some ancient Jedi texts recently and stumbled upon a story about a Jedi Sentinel who could control time itself. Obi-Wan's lips curled into a faint smile. Ah, yes, Soren Ward. He chuckled softly, shaking his head as memories resurfaced. I remember finding the very same story when I was a Padawan. I spent months chasing whispers and searching for any clue. No one knew much until Master Qui-Gon finally mentioned that Yoda knew him personally. Anakin's eyes widened. He was real then, Master. But how could a Jedi have so much power? I thought I was the Chosen One. His powers would have surpassed even mine. Obi-Wan laughed heartily, his amusement radiating through the Force. I know, my young Padawan. Imagine that. A Jedi more powerful than the Chosen One. How could that be possible? His grin grew, teasing, but affectionate. You still have much to learn, Anakin. Anakin, though accustomed to his master's lightheartedness, narrowed his eyes in mock irritation, but a cheeky smile betrayed him. I should have known you'd make fun of me, master. Only a little, Obi-Wan said, still smiling. But you are not wrong. Soren Ward was a mystery. He was said to have saved entire planets, billions of lives, and to have wielded a power that defied time itself. Anakin shifted slightly, curiosity peaked. What else did you find out about it? Obi-Wan's expression softened. Not much, unfortunately. I learned that his name is rarely spoken among the Jedi, almost as if it's taboo. Whenever I tried to ask Yoda about him, the subject was changed quicker than a starship traveling through hyperspace. Obi-Wan's brow furrowed, recalling the peculiar moments of avoidance. So, what happened to him? Anakin pressed. Obi-Wan gazed out of the chamber's wide windows, watching the lights of Coruscant's never-sleeping cityscape blink into life. There are no records of his demise. Some believe he's frozen in time, waiting for the Force to call upon him again. Others say he simply vanished after saving countless lives. Either way, it's said that if he ever returns, it will be when the galaxy is in its greatest need. Maybe to save us all, from ourselves. A heavy silence fell between them, the weight of those words hanging in the air. Anakin's mind raced, imagining such a being, someone who could wield the power of time itself, a power beyond even his own. And yet, in Obi-Wan's serene presence, there was no jealousy, no insecurity just a steady pulse of curiosity and wonder. Frozen in time, Anakin murmured more to himself. It sounds impossible. Obi-Wan smiled knowingly. The Force works in ways that often seem impossible, my Padawan. What you and I know is only a fraction of the greater whole. For a moment, Anakin was quiet, his youthful energy quelled by the weight of ancient mysteries. Then, as always, his rebellious spark flickered back. If he is still out there, Master, I'd like to meet him. Maybe learn a thing or two. Obi-Wan chuckled, standing up from his seated position. Perhaps one day, Anakin. Though I suspect you and I will have enough adventures to keep us busy without adding mythical Jedi to the list. Anakin rose with him, his smirk reappearing. As long as you don't make fun of me the entire way. Obi-Wan placed a hand on his apprentice's shoulder, his eyes glinting with warmth. I make no promises. With that, they left the chamber, the mystery of Soren Ward lingering in the back of Anakin's mind. Just one more thread in the vast tapestry of the Force waiting to be unraveled.